So I prepared some files here for upload. Uh, and just before I upload them, I'm just gonna go create a new folder here in this bucket, okay? And uh, I have a spelling mistake there, great. And so I'm gonna just go upload uh, these images here. They are from Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, they're the characters in the show. Um, and so I, all I have to do here is click and drag, and then I can go ahead and hit upload down here. And they're just gonna go ahead and upload them, all right? Uh, and we'll just uh, give that a little bit of time here. And they are all in, great. So now that I have all my images here in my bucket, I can click into an individual one here and you can see who the owner is, uh, when it was uplo uploaded, the storage class, the size of it. And it also has an object URL, which we're going to get to in a moment here, all right? Uh, so, but if we want to actually just view it in the console here, we can click open and we can view it um, or we can hit download. All right, and so that's gonna download that file there. But then we have this object URL, and this was uh, why we were saying that you have to have unique your uh, unique bucket names because they literally are used as URLs, okay? So if I were actually to take this URL and try to access it, and I actually just had it open here a second ago, um, you can see that we're getting an access denied because by default, um, S3 buckets are private, okay? So um, if we wanted to make this public so anyone could access this URL, we want to hit the make public button. We're gonna see that it's disabled. So um, uh, if we want to be able to uh, make things public, we're gonna have to go to uh, our bucket up here at the top here, go to the properties, or sorry, I should say permissions. And uh, we're gonna have to uh, allow uh, public access, okay? So this is just an additional uh, security feature um, that AWS has implemented because people have a really hard time about um, uh, making things public on their bucket and getting a lot of bad stuff exposed. So we're gonna go over here and hit edit and we have a bunch of options, but we're first gonna untick block all public access. And this is gonna allow us to uh, now make things public. So I hit save. Okay, and then I go type in uh, confirm. Okay. And so now if I go back to our, our bucket here into the enterprise D and data, I now have the ability to uh, make this public. So I'm gonna click make public. And so now uh, this file is public. And if I were to go back here and refresh, Okay, so there you go. So now I could I could take this link and share it with you or anybody and anyone in the world uh, can now uh, view that file, okay? Um, great, so now that we uh, learned how to upload a file or files uh, and how to make um, a file public, let's learn about versioning.